Ladies and gentlemen, delegates, the uh, judges have had a very difficult time but have finally reached a decision. So I'd like to hand over to Ishabel McTaggart from Highlands and Islands Enterprise Board to announce the teams that are going forward to our semi-finals. Thank you very much, everybody. Uh, personally, this has been a hugely inspiring occasion. Uh, and I'm sure all the judges, and in fact all the audience, will agree, absolutely inspiring. And uh, I think you're very courageous. Um, you're all very courageous for doing this. And I want to thank you for showing that courage and showing your mettle and demonstrating that you are leaders of the future. So thank you very, very much for doing that. Um, I am pleased to announce that the schools going forward to the semi-final debate are Kingusi, Hermitage, Portree, and Charleston. Well done. Well done, all of you. Um, the final, the motion in the semi-final debate, which all the teams will debate, is this house believes that renewable energy projects cause more harm to the environment than good. I'll say it again. This House believes that renewable energy projects cause more harm to the environment than good. What we're going to do is just uh, get organised for that. So I'm going to ask Heather if she can choose a name for the hat uh, and we'll see who's um, debating, proposing the motion. So in semi-final one, we have Kingusi proposing the motion. And Portree opposing the motion. And in semi final two, we have Hermitage proposing the motion. And Charleston eh, opposing the motion. Our second debate is going to eh, be. Sorry, what are we doing? Right, we're going to give all four of you about 20 minutes to get organised. So if I can ask the semi-finalists, if they want to leave the room now, if I can ask those that aren't going through, if you could stay, because we would like to, first of all, uh, give you some collective feedback from the judges and also to award uh, your prizes too. So we'll just uh, give you a few seconds to leave the room. Thank you. You can just discuss it outside, thank you. Thank you very much. Can I say that, um, that uh, to quote one of the judges, we were absolutely blown away by the standard of this competition. Um, there was a really fantastic level of intelligence and application and critical thinking, actually. And critical thinking is really imperative uh, for all of you in going into the future and also obviously for the immediate um, context of this debate. Um, we uh, thought that many of you handled interventions incredibly well. And uh, Mike, uh, who has great skill in handling interventions in his day job, uh, was giving us a lot of uh, advice and that included if you get an intervention and you're not quite sure what the answer is, uh, do thank the speaker quite elaborately for that intervention and uh, flatter them maybe somewhat and basically essentially buy yourself some time. So um, that takes a little bit of confidence to develop that ability to buy time um, and ability to stall, but don't let interventions floor you. Um, we, we wanted to make a point about reading. A lot of you were organised in very different ways. Some of you were reading uh, from uh, long sheets of paper. Some of you were highly organised in terms of your uh, little cards. Uh, do it the way you want to do it, but make sure you've got eye contact and make sure you're engaging with your audience. If you're not engaging with your audience and if you're not looking at them, they're less inclined to listen to you. If they're not going to listen to you, then the debate is going to get slightly lost. You have to make your points and you have to have them listening to you 
to make your points. Uh, many of you did that extremely well, and I think it would be it would be helpful for you to have a look at and think about how uh, some people did that. Um, we thought that some of the arguments, clearly in the context of the debate, some of you will be repeating some points. Uh, we thought it would be more compelling if you could perhaps repeat these points um, uh, just in a slightly different formulation. Um, so just have a we think about that and about the creativity that you can apply to repetition of points. Um, and also to, just to consider the, the structure of your arguments and to ensure that you're following a kind of hierarchical um, flow uh, and that will help you organise your thoughts and will help you express them. Um, and a, a good point made by Neil actually was about using numbers. Um, uh, while numbers are, are clearly very compelling, they're even more compelling if you have comparators and benchmarks so that people can understand the context in which you're using them. Uh, we thought that some of you conferred extremely well. Uh, some of you from the outset were really engaged with listening to the, to the other team and uh, you know, we're um, working incredibly well together in terms of uh, raising points uh, and addressing points and helping your teammates address points. And we thought that was uh, really, really commendable. Um, so these are just a few points um, that we wanted to raise. You were really fantastic and, as I say, very inspiring for us and a privilege for us to be standing there and listening to you being so articulate um, and uh, so powerful. So thank you very much. And I think if any of you wanted to have a chat to any of the judges individually, I'm sure this is a nice... Uh, a good opportunity to do that um, so do feel free to have a chat okay thank you oh, thankfully Heather's reminded me that we have to hand out prizes <laughs> So, can I ask um, the pupils from Allness to come up uh, to collect their prize for participating, please? Glossy Mouth, please, to come up uh, to collect their prize for participating.
And can I ask Nairn, please, to come up to receive their prize? And finally, can I ask uh, Milburn, please, to come up and take their time? Thank <laughs> you. 